everyone, Andrew here with Balls Australia. Back once again, reviewing another ball. It's been crazy. I'm gonna be reviewing this. This is a Newton's Cradle, or in reality, it's actually a, a, a children's electronic Newton's Cradle. Now, as you can see, uh, there's not really much momentum, and that's because usually, under here, it will actually show you that it's powered by a battery, which actually allows it to work. However, you can give it momentum by doing something like this, if you watch, ready? they will push this back and then let go. And it will be crazy momentum, and it will hold on for a certain amount of time. You know, it definitely won't run out as quick as, as you think. Um, I guess you can, you can see it's starting to dwindle. Um, this is also kind of slightly dilapidated due to the lack of thing. Now, Newton's cradle, um, what it does is when a ball on one end, it hits the other, you know, it goes to the other end. It's basically, the reason why I call it similar to a Newton's cradle is a Newton's cradle, uh, typically what it does is it goes like this and it will hit the other one, causing momentum, you know, with you know, Newton's law of physics. I guess this is, this, in a way, it's kind of, the reason why I call it a Newton's Cradle, um, unless it has a better name, is because it's based on that kind of idea of momentum, um, but at the same time, it's not, it's not actually the same thing. So, I guess I call it a kid's Newton's Cradle electronic. Um, now, the balls themselves, which of course we want to review, um, look at that, the ball there is this small kind of balls. They're almost like Christmas ball balls. They vary in size. And, um, oh, that one there is not ball shaped. It's uh, the other direction. Let's see if I can get a good, good view. Oh, look at that, you see that? that? That's the camera right there. That's pretty cool, actually. And so then we've got different balls here. That one's completely shaped. That's a small ball here. Um, of course, now the structure that it's on, you can take it off and you can view that and then the, the actual structure, the, I mean, the main, uh, the main attraction, the balls. I'd love to show you what it would be like with batteries. Um, in fact, it, we could actually do that. Um, let's have a look at what, what battery sizes we need. Oh, you know, we need to connect it to a, one of those, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Actually, do we have those batteries? That's a good question. No, we don't. All right, let's put it back. So yes, these balls are fantastic. Um, and you know what? Here's the thing, guys. Um, you can get these balls in Australia. You can also get them in America. And that brings me onto a quick topic. I allowed a friend of mine, Reflector 16, to do a review. And he loves balls, just like these balls. Now, unfortunately, one of our colleagues, um, Ratchet5, uh, enthusiastic Andrew, uh, or not so enthusiastic Andrew, that's my blunder, he actually uploaded yet another dismal review, and it's just, it's, it's frustrating. Honestly, it is frustrating as hell to see crappy reviews. Now, you may not agree with the idea of having non-Australians uh, non on the channel, um, but you know what, guys, guys, this is Balls Australia. Yes, this is Balls Australia. It's about Australians. However, you've got to understand, sometimes there aren't balls you can get in Australia. Now, I've never heard of the brand Hammer, therefore, a Hammer, um, ham always the final ball by the way, a hammer ball um, wouldn't really, you know, it wouldn't really, uh, you wouldn't be able to do it in Australia, therefore it's a ball that we are not able to cover in, uh, in the country we live in. So that means that, you know, we need someone else to correspond from another country to review. Another fatherly interruption as we all have. Um, so yes, we need we need correspondence from other countries sometimes. Um, now that actually brings on to a, a point uh, which would seem like a convenient plot point in the uh, the gripping drama that is Balls Australia, and that is that we were not the original creators of Balls Australia. Now I say that in a serious tone. I mean it as in we were not the ones that were originally that originally came up with a conceptual idea of Balls Australia. We well, we no sorry. We were the ones that did come up with it. However, the name and, and the idea of what it was based on was actually by someone from Northern Ireland. So that brings up a point, and hopefully he doesn't try to come back and get his uh, his royalties and stuff like that, because really he did not do nothing, but he was with us when we conceptualized uh, Balls Australia and everything it stands for, everything that it is about. You know, everything that the balls, 
think the balls are about. So yes, um, you know, that's the thing. It's, it's, it may be balls Australia, but it's not just about the Australians. We are all important as, as people, um, as the world, balls, balls world. Why don't we just have a balls earth? You know, Ratchet Five. Uh, you know, in one of his greatest reviews, did review a ball. Uh, not to do that, Andrew. Um, and you know, I've reviewed it plenty of balls in my time. I, we love balls. Um, and this this thing, even though really this isn't a ball, we've deviated in a way. Um, these balls aren't just balls. You know, they're balls on something more. They're part of a bigger picture. You know, and that's why we're doing ball-shaped items, not specific balls. I mean, even the shuttlecock is that really a ball? No, but yes, it is, and it relates to balls. So that's what we're doing at Ball Australia. We've reviewed over a hundred balls, or a hundred, you know, what we consider a ball, and that's a, that's a bit of a broad term. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is let's not complain about petty things such as you know non-Australians doing reviews, and instead focus on. Bowls Australian. Focus on reviewing quality bowls and making amazing um, reviews for you guys, for you guys to enjoy. You know, um, of course, I've been enthusiastic, Andrew, in desperate need of a haircut, as you can see, in desperate need, desperate measures. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you later.